Okay, folks, this should be the last demo for the day. Um, this demo has certain relevance to it. It reminds me of my father and what he uh, supposedly believes in. Yeah, right. Uh, let's see how we go with it. Um, I'm going to leave it. Gonna strip all the colours except black. Okay, what is it that my dad is into? It is philosophy now. Well, my dad is into supposedly into philosophy, but he doesn't seem to show any signs of wisdom, or at least not when I last saw him. And he's just an asshole and a bully and a cut, fucking idiot. And he believes in this thing called philosophy, and he thinks it's changing his life but it's not he hasn't become a nice person I, because of it he doesn't show any signs of being nice he in an artificial way yes but he's not a nice person he had me thrown out of his house by locking me out he tried to make me angry he made me get angry and he used that as an opportunity to kick me out He's a bully. He teases and bullies me. So I can't live with him. I have to live on my own, away from him. He's a dick. Slut. I call him a slut because he's an asshole. So, just because he does this thing called philosophy, he's with a, 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 a group which could be, I think it's a cult, called, I think it's called the School of Practical Philosophy. But he's, 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 if it's practical, he wasn't showing me his, what he learned in class practically. He used to pick fights with me and make me get angry and work me up into a rage. And he wondered why I exploded really loudly in his face. He, didn't get, he doesn't seem to get it. He's an idiot. So I don't believe in my dad's, in the validity of my dad's philosophy group. Um, I really don't. I don't see any point. So I don't talk to him, I don't I don't see him, I just giving him the, the bum steer, teaching him a lesson. The only power I have over my dad is is is, is silence and absence. Otherwise he has the upper hand over me. He can do what he wants. And I'm the one that has to wear it. So the only way I can display any kind of power over this creep is to simply not be around him or talk to him. If he can't, if I can't, if he doesn't talk to me, how can he bully me? You know, if I'm not there, how can he do that? How can he bully me? Occasionally he's hurt, he's physically assaulted me on one occasion. That not, oh, when I was a kid, he used to strap me uh, and smack me sometimes. So not a nice father. And I'm just gonna call out shit to him. I don't care what he thinks. I think his philosophy classes are stupid anyway. Because if they were real, wouldn't it help him? Wouldn't he become a nice, caring person, not a fucking asshole? Uh, well, I don't know. That's an interesting one. It shows the proof of the pudding is in the eating. And I don't see anything good about the pudding that he's cooked in this stupid philosophy class. So, you know... I'm going to prove him wrong. He hates my my photocopier art. He doesn't believe in it. He thinks it's foolishness. He calls my stuff foolish. But what is he calling himself? 
is he the pot calling the kettle black, as the old saying goes? I wonder if we can take a section out of that. Or maybe this. Maybe I can take a section. But I really wish my dad could be a real father to me, if he could just be a nice person and just accept me as I am, instead of treating me like I'm a fucking village idiot and he's the one that's the village idiot not me I'm doing what I'm, I'm being myself he doesn't want me to be myself he wants me to be what he thinks is his, is his way of doing it he wants it his way he's a fucking tard he's an idiot he's a fucking idiot my dad he's a real fuck tard and I'm going to teach him a lesson He's not going to like it. I don't care. I don't care what he thinks. Oh, it looks interesting. Um, I like it. It's got potential, but I don't have the right angle on it. But my dad just doesn't want me to be myself. He doesn't like what I'm doing here. He thinks it's foolishness. He's always hated my photocopy art from the day one. From the day I told him, I announced it to him that I that this is copy art. He said, "Oh, that's foolish." That's the first thing he said when I first announced it. And it really is an insult to my intelligence when my own father doesn't accept accept me as I am, just to accept me as me. That yes, I like to play with the photocopier. Well, so fucking what? I do, I do, I do. I know I do. But that doesn't mean you can call call me a fucking fool. Don't fucking be the pot calling the kettle black. Because I can see foolishness in your fucking... In who you are too, Dad. He also wants to sing. You see, the thing is, he he belongs to a singing group that apparently... Uh, it's for people who enjoy, who want, who love to sing. That's pretty much the motto for those who love to sing. But Dad can't sing. He is not a singer. He was called at school by his teacher. I know it was cruel, but he was called a croaker. He was a croaker. <laughs> What's a croaker doing in a fucking singing for the opera house? You know what a fucking idiot. Obviously, the other voices drown him out. That's what they've probably made it like that they probably made it in such a way that that his voice his inferior singing voice gets drowned out by the better ones because he sings in a group he's definitely not a soloist um i'm not an expert on singing folks don't get me wrong but my but when i listened to my dad practice when i listened to him practice i didn't notice anything better he still sounded like the same flat, monotone, the same speaking voice that he uses when he speaks, not when he's fucking, not a fucking singing voice. So I just don't know what, what it is with my dad. The jokes, you think the joke should be on him uh, for this, but he seems to think the joke's on me, uh, but he can't sing. He just can't fucking sing. And yet he still thinks my stuff is foolish and I'm, I'm good at it. People called, told me that I'm talented. I had a man who loved me for it. His name was Luigi. And I don't think my dad's going to ever believe in me until Luigi, he, I bring home Luigi to his place and he'll know that this photocopier art is indeed not any form of tomfoolery. Uh, it is actually valid and that it He's responsible for me having a, a loving relationship for, with someone else, with a man. His name's Luigi. So I'm trying to get in touch with Luigi, but I can't seem to do it. I'm trying to get myself to the um, free-to-air news, the TV channels, the uh, 6 o'clock news, to get in touch with Luigi. I know that if I can get in touch with Luigi, he would not just fix up my loneliness my dad and also my brother who's also an asshole against this he they'll both respect me and this is what i look like now luigi if you can see me so i'm hoping that 
my, my relationship with my dad and also my brother can be fixed as well as me being with the one I love. It's the old saying, kill two birds with one stone. The old saying, folks. But I'm not talking to my dad until I know he's not going to be an asshole. Oh, another thing to note for both my dad and my brother, when they apologise, I'm going to forgive them, folks. Forgiveness, very important thing for me to do. Anyway, that's come up looking quite nice. I think now we can call this demo quits.